Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Fireman Dan and welcome back to Space Engineers. So today I'm going to cover this really, really awesome, well, mod. This mod is called Large Torpedo Box. Large Block Torpedo Mod, number two. Now there is a guidance block with this that you can use, but I'm not going to cover that today, but I will throw a link in the description for you if you want to check it out on your own. And the reason I'm showing you this is, well, look in front of me. This is a missile. And this is actually a missile using Wham's uh, torpedo script, missile script. If you have not watched my video on that, I'll also provide a link for you. And why would you want to use this? Well, this compared to this. All right, so you tell me, which one do you want to use? And there are several ways you can use it. You can use it with the blocks that come with it. You can use it with the hinge. Ignore this. I'll come back to it later. So how does this work? Well, let's get started. So first things first, we will come down here to where it says large block torpedo parts. And we got a bunch of stuff here. So this right here, the torpedo hardpoint, is basically the first step. Step. This is essentially a redesigned, reskinned merge block, right? Now next we have this right here, the torpedo CC interface. The interface to place it correctly is the other side of the merge block. And this is where you build your missile from. Now you have several things. As you notice right here, you've got these little indents in here. And these are mounting points. Okay. You got three on, the, on this one. And if I find the other part, where is that? Where is that? Da, 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 nope. That's not it. Merge cylinder. I think this is it. One, two, three. Four. Yep. As you see, we got four mounting points on this. Now these mounting points are for these right here. Anything that says essentially says payload in them. You got uh, cameras. You got timers, antennas, beacons, sensors, uh, warhead, a decoy, remote, programmable block. You got a payload thrusters. This one's atmospheric, this one's regular. You got payload battery. And you also got the lateral stuff that you place on the side of them in the, in the right spot, of course, such as that. From there, you have torpedo cockpit. Oh, that is hilarious. I've actually never actually used that. Oh, that's, oh, that's gotta be for the large block. <laughs> Never actually used that. So let's uh, get started here. So what do we want? Well, first off, we also have the large one. Like this right here, we got the torpedo thrust booster. I've never really used it. We got our artificial mass block, and this is what I'm looking for: torpedo power cell. This is essentially a battery. It's a larger battery compared to what you what you get on the torpedo payloads. Now behind that, we are going to put in, where's the gyro, which one's the gyro? Oh, we got a reactor here as well. Here is just the stabilizer. The stabilizer is essentially a gyroscope, right? And then lastly, I want, no, uh, we're built, we're an on planet, so we'll throw an, mm, well, I want side thrust, so let's do this. Let's throw the merge cylinder on there. And we'll, th we'll throw a thruster on there. And then instead of these, the lateral thrusters, we will grab the payload thrusters. Now we have all around thrust, right? And we have the main thruster. Now you do not need all of these 
really you can get by with one, especially if you're using a Wham script. But the one thing I've noticed while using these in the past is if you fire this as is and it comes right off this rail, it's it's like two blocks running up against each other really, really quickly. And uh, sometimes they go boom. So if going back to Wham script, you have the option to use a detach thruster to push it away from your grid. So I like to put one especially on the top here. And I will make it a detach thruster. If you don't know what I'm doing with that, go watch my other videos. Now from here, let's move forward. So we got a battery, right? We got gyroscope and we got thrust. Now what do we need? Well, if I'm making a wham torpedo, I need a program block. Let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that, get rid of that, that. Uh, we'll keep that and uh, we don't need that, we don't need that. So I need a program block, right? I need an antenna. Uh, I need an antenna. I need a remote control. I need cameras. And then I need warheads. And I can use these right here. This one is a just a penetrator. As his name suggests, it's just a penetrator. It's basically a kinetic kinetic warhead front. And this is good if you want to impact something and then maybe put the warhead the warhead payloads behind that. So hopefully like this will penetrate into a ship and then go boom. Or you can use these down here at the bottom. And you got the explosive penetrator and the nuke penetrator. Well, what's the difference? Well, obviously, judging by the name nuke in there, it, the nuke creates a bigger blast. And I'll go ahead and show you these as well. Let me grab the control block and stick on it. Let's come off the side over here. Now up first, let me drop a explosive penetrator down. Well, mother, watch the language. All right, let's do it this way. Drop an explosive penetrator on there. Control block. And start countdown. Just so you can see what we got here. Any second out. There we go. That was a long countdown. Pretty decent sized hole, right? This will darn near take out a small grid. Now we'll do one more. But with a nuke one. And let's shorten this. Boom. That's a big freaking hole, right? And the nuke penetrators is good for large, large grids. Believe it or not, uh, Evander, uh, if you watch your series, you know who he is. He built a missile with the large, with the nuke reactor on it and shot a grid, a large ship we built a while back. And it, other than a couple of blocks, it blew the thing completely in half. It, it was just held on by like two or three armor blocks. Uh, that's it. Well, that's how strong it is. So. Continuing on. So I need, obviously, a program block. I need an antenna. I need a remote control. Is that it? Nope, that's the camera. There's a remote control. And I think it has to be facing forward. So I think that's right, yeah, because it narrowed up narrowed a large. And next we need cameras. Just up the front. Camera. 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 Okay. Just in a way of that. Camera. Now this 
this little thing right here, that's the screen, okay? So that's gonna be facing forwards. And then lastly, we want our tip on the end. So we're gonna put a six on there. And then we'll use regular explosive penetrator. Now this is a little off center, obviously. I probably could have maybe stuck the battery or the gyroscope up front and it would have made it a little more symmetrical. But that right there is a torpedo. And that's a torpedo using WAM's script. And just to see it in action, I'll go ahead and th turn these off. Uh, we'll group, grab everything other than the hard point and call it missile one, right? And the programmable block, edit, browse, Group name fire control found. No main setup for mission. Yeah, it's not finding a lot of this because it's not attached. Trust me, everything's in there. It works, uh, as evident by this right here. You have just created a WAM missile using the torpedo block parts. Now, there is a slight downside with this. And that is actually placing the torpedo. And here's what I mean. So if you're placing these side by side, right? And let me grab a missile here. So this is a missile. These camera blocks, they act like they're... The, the build block is like right here. You know, the... Hip, hip box. So if you try to place these side by side, this one and this one are going to interact with each other. Watch. Right, so it's green, 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 red. Doesn't work. So in order to place these on here, you got to have a two block separation between the two of them. And that accounts for the camera blocks. There's a way around this stuff. Instead of having a two block separation, right, you can have a one block separation, but you got to mount it back, offset it. So as long as you offset them a little bit, you can have a one block separation. And once again, that's just because of the camera block here. Oh, stuck. So there's that. Now the other option, if you don't want to do this, you can build it off of a hinge block. And Evander built this one. You got, you got your mounting hinge. And when he did this, he put it on, put the re regular uh, remote control here. And the reason he did that is so the hinge head has something to latch onto, and then he built a missile. The downside with doing it this way is you have to manually load them every single missile, like this. As you notice, it's on a little forklift weapon loader thingy. You would have to take this, using the vehicle, and stick it in the hinge, and then hit attach on the hinge. Why would you want to do it this way? Well, there's only two reasons I can really think of. Number one is kind of uh, the the role play scenario or, or a hardcore scenario, such as I'm we're working on right now. And it, it makes you think twice, because every time you fire a missile, you're going to have to physically reload that missile. You can't just turn on a projector and, and rebuild it. These ones, these are all one grid, because merge blocks, remember? I could turn on a projector and re rebuild, re-weld these all day long. These ones, we cannot do it that way. We would have to build the missiles separately and then load them into place. But, 
the kicker is the kicker is you can have a one block separation between them and the reason you can do this is you're not welding them up like this you're welding them somewhere else and then you're physically putting them into place so it works this way and see there's no offset with them so these are the large block torpedo mods um, I've tried this with the easy lidar homing script before but the missiles flew very wonky and I think it was attributed to the cameras for some reason and it, the script just did not like this mod Whams, Whiplash's Wham torpedo or missile script works flawlessly. I promise you. So this is Fireman Dan. Everything will be linked in, in the description below for what you need. If you enjoyed this video and this little tutorial on the torpedo mods, hit the like button. Uh, hit the, the bell button for notifications when I upload videos. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Fireman Dan, I will see you guys next time on Space Engineers.